Hello everyone, this is PZZS in here, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a video on how to back up your photos from your iPhone or iPod Touch. Now, um, this doesn't actually automatically happen when you plug, well it actually does, but, you know, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to be actually showing you how to literally back them up so that way you can actually get them off, yet still have them elsewhere, if you know what I mean. I'm going to show you how to put them on a hard drive. So, essentially here are the things you're going to need. You are going to need an iPod Touch, you're going to need a sync cable, you're also going to need some camera software, and that's about it. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. This is pretty easy, in fact. It is clearly quite late at night at the moment, so I'm not going to be able to talk very loudly. But I do plan to do this on the computer, like film the computer while doing this, so yeah. Alright, so, um, the first thing you're going to want to do is, um, you're going to want to plug in your iPod Touch to your camera, or to your, uh, computer. Alright, and then once you do that, um, iTunes will probably come up. Oh, and by the way, for this screen recording, I tried to keep the aspect ratio the same as the aspect ratio of my camera. So, it should, uh, not be, like, constantly resizing itself. And it should hopefully, the, uh, video when I switch back and forth between my computer screen and my camera, should, uh, stay the same size. So, yeah. Alright, here's iTunes. Um, on the side pane, your iPod will probably show up. What you're really looking for, though, let me make sure that my airplane's on frame. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the camera angle just a tad bit. Perfect. What you're going to need to do is, um, once your iPod starts syncing, you're going to want to cancel it, and here's how you're going to do it. Mine is taking a very long time. When you get this sync in progress thing coming up, go ahead and slide to cancel. And that will stop it from syncing. Alright, now go ahead and minimize iTunes. This coming sort of. Go ahead and minimize iTunes. And you might notice this window will come up. Now, if you're on a Mac, it might look a bit different. But you see, if you notice, it says that there's a camera connected. Your computer will recognize it as a camera, so if you go down, select the one you wish to use, and double click. Alright, now what you're going to want to do, and I might need to use the blur effect a bit just in case a snapshot of Facebook comes up. Alright, now right down here, PZZ SCN's iPod, or whatever your iPod's name is, it'll have the, a camera icon. Go ahead and double click on it. And again, you'll notice nothing is happening on the iPod screen. This is quite important to note. I want to make sure that we're still recording because my battery is getting quite low. Yeah, whoops. Well, you'll notice that nothing's on the iPod screen now. I'll try and do a little bit of digital zoom. I suppose that'll be good enough for now. Alright, and as you see on the screen as of now, it's got this little progress bar. I've never seen that before. There must be a ton of photos on here. And again, the iPod screen is totally blank. There's no need to worry about anything like that. And, uh, but don't mess with it because it is still being accessed by the computer and you don't want to interrupt it in any way, shape, or form. Um, so I just I just recommend not playing with it at all. In fact, let me just double check something. It said that I was just making sure that we actually had a firm connection out there. So. Ah, uh, all your photos. You might need to do a bit of blurring here. But, what you want to do is, uh, let's find one that looks safe. Like, as in, my, no information show. Uh, um, let's bring down a little more. I'm trying my best to s keep all this stuff that I don't think I see hidden. Well, alright. This is, yeah, that's safe. If we, oh gosh. 
Oh dear me. Uh, I could come up here. Maybe whenever my laggy. Look at this, all my RAM is being used. That's stupid. Alright. Ah, here we go. Go to edit. Select all. All the photos will be selected. Depending on how many you have, this might take a while. Oh, I'm sorry, there might be... Okay, are you kidding me? Alright. Now, go ahead and hit... Actually, let's try copy to folder. Ah, I didn't know that was on there. Alright. Now, we can go up to my... Um, external hard drive here. And go to iPod Touch Photo Album. Or now, again, my photos. Wherever you have this set to go. Uh, whoa, whoops. I got that there. Let's see if I can do this. How about that? There we go, that's better. Copy. Alright, now all of these are being copied over. And you should get a little window pop up with a progress bar just like this. Once this is full, you will be able to go and start deleting a few photos. I am not sure how we're going to go about this. How I am, at least. Hmm. Um, yeah. Now, the whole reason why I'm doing this is just so that way there, somewhere, because there are pictures on here that I don't feel like going through and picking and choosing, but there are pictures on here that I do want to keep, as in, like, backgrounds and stuff. So, yeah, but anytime I do find a good background, I immediately email it to myself. And then I put it into a special folder I have set up else on the computer that one, that, that one sec next plug in my iPod. It will actually put it into a photo album that I have set up for it. So that is how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and cut short here. Uh, well, not I'm, I'm going to be back, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it here, and I'll be back if there are any more complications. So sweet. <coughs> All right. Hopefully the sound will be in alignment because I'm trying a new way of doing it. Anyway, the way we're actually going to go about deleting all the photos on here is actually by this option right here, which says delete all pictures on camera, so click it. And, uh, yeah, we want to hit, yes, and they will not go away. Hopefully we're recording on here. Oh, goody, we are. So, yeah, and again, Notice the lack of activity on the iPod screen. That is because there is no need for any activity to be on the screen because... Yeah. Yes. After all this is done, I'm assuming you'll get another little progress bar eventually. Whenever it decides to show up. Um, it will fill up. And here we go. <coughs> so, that last step we did where we copied all the things to a folder is only if you wish to have these pictures on a hard drive or on your computer. But if you just wish to get rid of all of this junk, you just don't want it anymore, it's just taking up your space, you don't have to do that. You can just click on that button I just clicked earlier and it should work. And you won't have to worry about red lines coming up. This is this is the screen recorder. Uh, it's actually kind of stupid. And I don't know why they it even records that those pixel artifacts. But anyway go ahead and wait for that to finish up and uh, when it's done, I'll be back. Alright, so I just did. I just freed up a ton of RAM. I went under AVG, I right clicked it, and where it says continue all scans, it used to say pause all scans. I clicked that, and then I watched my little um, window thing here, and I saw it literally dropped, like, from pretty much all the way to the top to all the way to the bottom. So. I think the reason why I was going so slow is because it was in the middle of a um, virus scan, which does take up a lot of RAM, so if you want, you can pause it, and, but make sure once you're, once this is over that you, um, that you restart, that you start it back up, because um, otherwise it's not going to do anything, and, you know, so, yeah, that's just a little tip for you in case yours takes a long time like mine. I still have all these artifacts everywhere, it's really annoying, so... Yeah, anyway, that's all. I'll be back once it's hopefully finished. Unfortunately, it turns out I will not be able to show you if any um, thing comes up indicating that stuff is being deleted. I think that there will be, but this is taking way too long. I am burning up, and 
and I hate to get your sleep in the I'm just going to let this run as I quickly uh, do a few things and uh, um, hopefully this will be finished by the time I get back up so yeah but once it's finished what you can do is go back into iTunes and then sync it so that way it does sync normally and that way you do get your you know full backup and then you can unplug it and see if there's any performance boost and uh, maybe you'll free up some memory in the process so yeah I will still show you the uh, comparison of memory at the end Thanks for watching. Adios. I need to charge my batteries also. That's another excuse.